The Indian Army has released pictures of the Akashtia control center that was recently delivered by Bharat Electronics, that is designed to automate air defense control and reporting processes, and is a vital element of Joint Air Defense Command. The Indian Air Force has increased the area of responsibility for some of its Su-30 fighter squadrons to cover the gaps left by decommissioned MiG-21. India has rejected recent media reports suggesting that Turkey has imposed a blanket ban on military exports to India. US Ambassador to India Eric Garcetti has said that the US trust in India has resulted in the approval of selling the most exquisite jet engine technology to India, which the US has not even sold to some of its closest allies. The DRDO chief has said that the Astra Mark II missile will be inducted within the next two to three years, and it is set to start user trials later this year with production-ready configurations. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has partnered with Chi Stats Labs to develop an AI-based revolutionary system for aero gas turbine engine health monitoring to ensure optimal engine performance and longevity. The DRDO has issued a call for development integration and testing partners for upscale to tum radar for the Super Shukhoi fighter jet. The Indian Navy has issued an OTAM warning from 19th to 24th July for a designated range of 730 km, which could be another test of extended range Brahmos missile. The Ministry of Defence has issued a stringent deadline to Hindustan Aeronautics to deliver 18 Tejas Mark 1A under the much-delayed Tejas trainer aircraft from the previous deal by March 2025, marking a significant escalation in pressure on Hindustan Aeronautics, as it could have severe consequences for the company. New reports indicate that two single-seater Tejas Mark 1A jets are ready, and four more Mark 1A jets are nearing completion, while six Tejas trainer are in various stages of production. The DRDO is planning to transform the smart anti-air field weapon into a mini-air-launched cruise missile variant. The existing SAW is an unpowered weapon that relies on glide for target acquisition, but the new ALCM variant will be equipped with a mini turbojet engine, enabling powered flight and a substantial increase in operational range from existing 100 km to beyond 200 km. It will also feature an artificial intelligence supported optical cruise system that will enable the missile to recognize and eliminate targets even in harsh weather conditions. At a time when Larsen and Tubro is manufacturing the DRDO developed AIP system for six Calvary class submarines, new reports indicate that the DRDO is spearheading the development of a larger AIP module capable of generating 20 kilowatt power for future submarine classes like the Project 76. The Project 76 next generation submarines will have 1000 ton more displacement than the Calvary class, due to which it will demand even greater power. Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design has completed the preliminary design of its JAL Kapi Next Generation Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, while its detailed design fabrication integration and testing of the prototype will be undertaken by an industry partner. It boasts an impressive mission endurance of 45 days, which is achieved through onboard recharging using a diesel generator, allowing the underwater vehicle to replenish its batteries and continue its mission. The Navy has emphasized the use of commercially available off-the-shelf components for payload sensors, batteries and associated systems, that is likely to streamline development and potentially reduce costs. Today's Top 3 Comments 